Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, happy Thanksgiving weekend to all the Canadians out there. I'm in Canada and I will be going home to spend uh, Thanksgiving with my mom. My sister and her husband and Jason are coming too, so we're gonna have a great weekend. But uh, we're here to talk about candles today. So I did go on the Bath & Body Works website hoping uh, that the winter uh, candles had been released and they were not on the Canadian website, they were not. But I did come across this collection, which looks like cut glass. Um, and I have four of them. I feel like there was one I didn't get because I knew I wasn't gonna like it, or maybe I did get them all. I'm not sure, I have four. But I also have, I bought this other one as well. And this is in the scent. It's a mystery. Uh, it is in flannel. I don't know why I need to look because I ordered it and I did order flannel that's what I got however interesting there's no label on it there's no there's not even any residue that maybe the label came off I don't think the label ever went on but anyway and I was thinking do I really want to send it back because there's no label no it doesn't really matter to me anyhow flannel is fresh bergamot uh heirloom mahogany and soft musk now, way back when, when I first started burning candles and buying candles from Bath & Body Works, which is probably, I don't know, four or five years ago, not long compared to some of you out there. I know I'm kind of new-ish, comparatively speaking. Anyhow, I remember getting flannel one time, uh, and I must have purchased it online because when I got it home, this when I lived in Houston, I opened it's like, ooh, I don't like that at all. It smells like men's cologne, and I took it back. So that was several years ago. Now I feel like my scent preferences have changed. I feel like I appreciate a little bit more fresh, colony, outdoorsy, those kind of notes where I didn't in the past. I think in the past, when I first got into candles, I was all about bakery at that time. And of course, Twisted Peppermint, all time favorite. Um, so anyway, I thought, because these were on sale, they were, I think they were $12.95 Canadian. Or maybe they were $10 off Canadian. Eh, I can't remember, it doesn't matter. It was, a, it was a, not a great sale, but I purchased them anyway. Anyhow, so I was on the website looking, blah, 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 and I saw a flannel, it's like, you know what, let me try it again. It's been a long time since I've had it. Maybe my scent preferences have changed, or I think they are, let me give it a try. So I got, I opened the box, of course, I didn't know what it was because I didn't remember, but it was flannel. So anyway, um, it is Cologne, the bergamot, in my opinion, it makes it that way to my, in my experience. Um, and after looking at the scent notes, when I see the scent note mahogany, that scares me. Like I really want to crawl under the bed and cry because I really dislike the other one with mahogany in it immensely. Like it wanted me, I could just throw up thinking about it. Um, um, but so there is, there is a, a slight hint, very slight hint of that. If it was stronger, I would take it back, but it's, it's not so bad at all. And the soft musk, which I like, I think it kind of mellows down that um, bergamot note. So anyway, I, on cold, I'm liking it. I'm liking it more than I did uh, the first time I got a, a flannel candle, which I said was many years ago. Okay, so then we have one, two, three, four of, I don't know what they're called. I'm calling them the Cut Glass Collection. They may have a name, I'm not sure. Um, and they just really caught my eye. And at first, when I first looked at them on the website, it's like, oh my gosh, sorry. Um, I thought, oh, really? Bath & Body Works, you're doing cut glass jars now? It's like, no, I, that can't be. And then, of course, I looked closer. It's like, it's just a, an overlay. It's like, um, let me see, is it a sticker? Yes, it is a sticker. I can peel it off. Um, so anyway, but e either way, I think they're really pretty. And I think at night when, the, when they're lit, I think they're going to be really, really pretty. So this first one is in Sweet Whiskey. These are uh, White Barn, uh, as is the flannel. And a sweet whiskey is, um, mm, oh Lord, uh, golden amber, vanilla, oh crap, just a minute. Oh, 
I just don't want to accept the fact that my eyes are getting worse and worse and worse. And last year when I had my eyes, uh, my, my, my checkup, because uh, I wear bifocal uh, contact lenses, which I love, love, love. I've been wearing them for years. And my doctor said, you know, you're probably close to the end of the line for wearing the contacts. You're probably going to have to go to glasses soon. But anyway, last year we tweaked the prescription enough that the contacts are doing super fine. But I've noticed in this last three months or so, it's really changing rapidly. So I do need to go for an eye appointment. And hopefully I can squish another year out of contacts because I really really like them so anyway even though we, even with my contacts in I can't read that but seriously who can so I'm, I'm gonna just pretend that you know my eyes are wonderful okay here we go sweet whiskey is golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries and I've not smelled these yet I, I'm getting like a smoky vanilla not getting anything that reminds me of berry whatsoever. And that depth, that richness that I equate to an alcohol boozy note, it doesn't smell like a sharp alcohol as if you poured, you know, whiskey in a glass. It doesn't smell like that, but it's giving it a depth. And that's the only thing that I can really describe some of these um, alcohol notes as, especially whiskey notes and bourbon notes. The next one is uh, spiced apple toddy. Oh, now, now I remember what it was. This is one I don't care for, but I bought it anyway because it's, it's red and it's really pretty. I will say this one for Christmas for sure. Because actually, now come to think of it, I have this, I'm looking over there because my cabinet's over there. I have the Scentsy Glow Warmer, which is red cut glass. Hello, this is gonna look fabulous burning right next to that. I might have to get a couple more of these. However, I don't like the scent, so that's that's a problem. Sweet apple uh, toddy. And but, but having said that, it's been several years since I've ordered this one as well. Because I didn't like it, I didn't order it. I found it very heavily laden with cinnamon. So we'll see how this one is. Spiced apple toddy is warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick. So that sounds, based on the notes, really good. Um, like a nice blend of the apple and cranberry and berries and whatnot. And um, yeah, it's, I get the, I get the apple, I get the apple. I do get plum, not necessarily. I get a, an apple and like a, a fruity note apple, but I also get a lot of cinnamon. That's kind of disappointing. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes when it burns. Uh, warm apple brandy, spice plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, this one. Yep. Cranberry orange seltzer. And the notes here are uh, fresh orange, sugared cranberries, and fizzy seltzer water. Ooh, that's good. Definitely orange, uh, maybe a little bit of a fizziness, maybe hopefully on when it's burning, it'll get more of the effervescence. Maybe a hint of cranberry. I'm really getting orange and a fizzy note. So that's nice. Um, this, I bet this would be nice, like if I was burning it next to like a pot, like a balsam, fresh balsam, the one I get every year, balsam, right? Balsam. No, 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 winter, winter, winter. That would be nice burning with winter. Uh, and finally, juniper and gin. And winter is probably one of my favorite next to, next to uh, Twisted Peppermint. I love winter. And actually, that's what I was looking for. I don't think I have any winter yet in my collection that I saved from last year. So anyway, juniper and gin. Let's see. You know how much I like gin. Uh, juniper berries, chilled gin, freshly squeezed lime. That sounds like a lovely cocktail to me. Well, as all of these are cocktails, it took me a minute to get that, right? And these would all be their highball glasses. See, this, this is a highball. Anyhow. No, it's not. They're old fashions. Oh, that's good. I'm definitely getting a, like a gin note uh, from the juniper berries and gin. And is that lime or lemon? It's something citrusy. I think it was lemon, right? But I like lime in my gin and tonic, but uh, it is lime. 
that's really yummy. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, and yeah, so if you've never had a gin and tonic, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely summer drink. I mean, you can drink it anytime at all, but it's really refreshing in the summer. So there you have it. Okay, so juniper and gin in this old fashioned and cranberry orange seltzer in this old fashioned and spiced apple toddy in the red one. And this, if you have, let me, so let's say it again. If you have the Scentsy Glow Warmer, it's probably three years ago now it came out of Christmas. Um, this is going to look amazing with that. And then the other one was Sweet Whiskey. So um, beautiful jars. I really like these a lot. And um, this might be a jar uh, that you could save and put other things in because it look it does look kind of, you know, like cut glass or cut crystal. Anyhow, that's it for now. Before we go, I want to uh, just mention again, I mentioned it on yesterday's video, which was my empties video, which actually I just filmed five minutes ago, but you're seeing a day later. Uh, about uh, I'm doing a fundraiser for my father's nursing home. He's giving great, great care there. I'm giving all of my commission to the nursing home. So anything you can do to help him and the residents of uh, Seaside Manor would be greatly appreciated. When you check out, uh, it'll ask you what party you want to click to um, attach your order to and just click Seaside Manor uh fundraiser and if you're in the in the u.s you'll see seaside manor fundraiser u.s if you're in canada you'll see seaside manor fundraiser canada so we all appreciate that so so much thank you thank you and again have a great thanksgiving weekend if you're here north of the border um and i really appreciate everybody's help and um yeah so that's it happy thanksgiving i'll see you soon bye